let's kick things off, Addy. First guy on the list is Dallas Turner. Why do you think Mr. Turner solidified his status at the Combine? Oh, he crushed the Combine. Absolute freak. Let's start with with measurables. 6'2 and a half, 247. So not the biggest guy. Yeah. But wingspan wise, he's like 83 inches on the wingspan. So that's like 6'11, I believe. Same as LeBron. Yeah. So ridiculous. So not really concerned about, you know, him only being 6'2 and a half. And then the 40 also kind of alleviates some of the fears. Four, four, six, forty, Just ridiculous. 40 and a half inch vert on the broad he hit. 10 foot seven. 10 foot seven. Yep, tied for third. So just ridiculous. You look at player profiler, his 40-yard dash was in, was in the 97th percentile. He had a 99th percentile speed score, a 96th percentile burst score. So just everything we want to see. I was looking at the mocks today. Tons of people put out some post-combine mocks. Dane Brugler, Daniel Kelly, Lance Erline, and PFF all have put out post-combine mocks. That's what I'll be referencing a lot here. But in those mocks, he has gone as high as 9 and no lower than 19. He's still very much in the range that he was in. So feel very good about yeah. Dallas Turner. Yeah, he, he did exactly what we expected him to do, which was ball out at the Combine. It looks like some potential landing spots here. Chicago, Minnesota, New Orleans Saints. I mean, all of those would be very, very juicy for Dallas Turner. Yeah, he's going to go somewhere, I think, where a, a team has an immediate need. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Bears, you got Montez Sweat, right? Mm -hmm. Minnesota, you potentially have both your edge rushers gone with yeah. Daniil Hunter and Marcus Davenport out the door. Well, and Wanham, he's mm -hmm. also UFA, but if he if he does come back, he's recovering from, uh, I think, uh, I don't remember if it was a bicep surgery or something more worse than that, but either way. He's, yeah. an, he's an immediate starter. Yep. Will Anderson type of snap volume probably. He's better than Wanham, right. Yeah, exactly. And then New Orleans Saints. I mean, you've got an opening there as well, a chance to learn from Cam Jordan maybe for a year or yeah. so before he retires. But the, I think the opportunity's there. you got Carl Granderson and also Peyton Turner. Is Granderson a free agent, though? No, they just he's, locked him up. That's right. He did get the they bag. They somehow found money to, yeah, to pay, pay him. Granderson. Yeah. So you have Granderson, Peyton Turner, and Cam Jordan. And Isaiah Foskey, their second-round pick from last mm -hmm. year. But, I mean, who knows? If this it, would definitely be it. Yeah, rate. if it's Dallas Turner at 14, it's going to be Dallas Turner probably leading snap getter with Cam Jordan, if yeah. I had to guess. But. Yeah, so feel feel great about Dallas Turner. We've touched on the early production at Alabama and and how you know this guy is is one of the youngest prospects in the class. So just everything you want to see from a prospect. I think I've probably risen on Dallas Turner over the last you know combine. You know, kind of what we looked at some of the metrics over the last couple of weeks. I thought you know there's not really a good 101. You know, 102 as far as IDPs out of this class. But Dallas Turner definitely looks like he's trending way more in that Will Anderson category and not so much in that, like, just a guy category. You know, he looks like he could be a superstar in the league. I don't know if y'all are getting kind of the same vibes, but I don't know, man. Dallas Turner could be a – he could definitely be a star. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't think he's just Will Anderson 2.0. I don't know if he's quite that good, but yeah, I, think, I think he's, he's a, a little bit of a step down. Yeah, but but I was excited about him. I mean, honestly, it was a relief to to see how he tested and everything because yeah. I was I was excited about him. He was my 101 mm -hmm. for, as far as IDP goes. Yeah, I don't think that this weekend yeah, and so changed still anything there. for still that. Still there. Let's talk about the next guy on the list, Jared Verse. The updated mock range, 8 to 19. So in that similar range to Dallas Turner, comes out with a 9.3 RAS from, again, at Math Bomb, if you want to check out the RAS. But to walk us through some of the measurables there, Addy. How did Mr. Verse perform? Verse was 6'3 and a half, 254. So a big, beefy boy, but he ran a 4'5'8. He had a 35-inch vertical, and he had a 10-foot, 7-inch broad. 7-3-1 three-cone, so not a great three-cone. Mm -mm. We typically like to see those three-cones like sub-seven, but whatever. You know, there's there's plenty of, of other elite edge rushers that have done that. You know, I'm not I'm not overly worried about it. I think the 9-3 is great. You know, mm -hmm. that's fantastic. That's great. So, yeah, I think you should feel good about Verse, you know, maintaining his draft status. And, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he's the first edge drafted. No, I wouldn't either. I mean, I wouldn't either be surprised of if any, of his, any of the three, honestly. someone People are going to fall in love with, with Leitu as well. I mean, they're all good athletes. They're all above nine. Mm -hmm. 
as far as RAS score goes. So I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, he does have a lower end of the range in terms of the mock range with going at eight to nineteen, whereas Dallas Turner was nine to nineteen, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so right. That's it's possible. I think both of these guys are in the mix for top ten overall picks. I think teams will see versus more of like the safe option, mm -hmm. and Dallas Turner is more of the upside option, mm -hmm. right? That's what I heard DJ talking about on the combine coverage was how strong verse was. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I think and we talked about that, you know, when we initially were reviewing these, just verse is just power, dude. Mm -hmm. Thirty one bench press reps. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm I lost. Eighty second percentile. Mm -hmm. I mean, all of his stuff was incredibly impressive. Forty yard dash, hundredth percentile, ninety seventh percentile speed score, ninety ninth percentile burst, eighty eighth percentile agility. I think we can kind of analyze it as far as who we like, but it is going to be NFL is going to tell us a lot. You know, I, I go back to what you were talking about last year with we were talking about D'Angelo Malone out of Western to the Falcons and how. The new defensive coordinator there, that just kind of wasn't the body type as far as a interior defensive lineman or an edge that the guy was really looking for. So it is going to be kind of a case-by-case -case basis. What is the defensive scheme that this team is running? You know, would they maybe drop Dallas Turner back into coverage from time to time? Verse does seem to look and act a little bit more like your prototypical um, edge. So it is just going to be kind of a... Dealer's choice. What are what are you looking for for your team? And and I think Latu is going to work himself into that consideration for I'm not going to be surprised at all if all of a sudden we see Latu come off the board as the first IDP. Yeah. Yeah. The, any of those three are in the mix for me. Because I feel like he's kind of pushing the medical stuff kind of out of the way now. I feel like you've seen it. I feel like you've seen the athleticism now at the combine. And we've seen the same story with Jalen yeah. Phillips. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. I like these landing spots for verse as well, especially that second one. Falcons and then Colts would be mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. Los Angeles Rams, Bobo, Woo! 19. We talked about uh, uh, we're getting Burns. Get Brian Burns, yeah. but that would be fun as well. Would you like that, though? Verse. He wants Peyton Wilson. No, I want Brian Burns. <laughs> Just send it he wants Brian Edron Burns. Cooper to run alongside Ernest Jones. He wants Jones. Peyton Turner. That's it. That's it. Peyton Turner, send make, him on for first. Make the trade. Make the trade. Let's move to Leatu Latu 9.16 RAS, six foot four and a half, 259, ran a 464, 40, a 32 inch vertical, and a nine foot eight inch broad. Pretty good testing for Latu as well. 99th percentile, 40 yard dash, 95th percentile speed score, and 83rd percentile burst score. So, again, not as impressive as the top two guys. Do you think he hurt his stock at all, Addy? I think there was a chance he could have hurt his stock. I think you said he was right there on kind of that edge and yeah. did pretty well. Well, I mean, I, th I think if we would have, you know, seen this guy not test well, mm -hmm. we would have excused him probably out of the first round. Mm -hmm. That's not going to be the case now. I think we could maybe see him rise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think uh, there's something to keep in mind, too, with a lot of these teams is they have certain size, speed, weight height thresholds the Colts famously if you look at their drafts under Chris Ballard I think last year if I'm remembering correctly every single draft pick that we took was above a nine mm -hmm. res and I think we had one guy in there that was a 10 so like Chris Ballard wants him some freaks yeah be like us if we were a GM. right Absolutely. I would just take all the freak shows yeah. and just try to coach him up one thing that I did love about Latsu, I don't know if you heard it. Josh, you probably didn't because you were, you know, in Mexico. Floating in the pool. Sure. But DJ Size comped him to Trey Hendrickson, and he also said that Latsu was the most skilled edge in this class. That's interesting. That's some words, you know. A guy like, you know, Daniel Jeremiah, he doesn't miss a whole lot, and the guys that he likes are normally guys that have a, a pretty big impact in the NFL. You got to know that he's in some GM's ears and, and maybe knows a little bit. So... It will be fun to see. Let's talk about these landing spots. I'll take your job from you here, Josh. Thank you. So pick 12, Latu to the Denver Broncos. Latu here at pick 16 to the Seattle Seahawks. He also has the possibility here to go to the Buffalo Bills in a projected trade there with the Eagles. And then also falling the farthest to pick 23 to the Houston Texans. I might like that, that one the best, especially yeah. if they don't bring back Jonathan Grenard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
please no to the the Seahawks. Yeah. I'd like to see something from Derek Hall. Yeah. Sure. Maybe. Too much Derek Hall stock sure. for a landing spot there. With and also two. Denver, you know, we've started some of these best balls. Mm-hmm. We got some Baron Brown and we got some Nick Benito. We mm-hmm. don't really need him coming in there. I need him in Denver, people. Let's I, make these portfolios go up in flames. I kind of like the Bills, though, you know, opposite yeah, Greg R. Really nice. You've got some weirdness with Vaughn Miller. They were talking Leonard about Floyd's that. Floyd's gone. Epinesa's yeah. out. Epinesa, out. Floyd, and Shaq Lawson all gone. That would be really nice. Yep. I would like that. And then also, I mean, you're exactly right. Putting him opposite Will Anderson there yes, with please. the Houston Texans. Mm-hmm. You got to think that maybe the Houston Texans bring in an IDL this offseason. They've got some money. There's some, you know, defensive tackles that are going to be available. It would be really fun to get to get them some pressure in the interior to go with a, a Will Anderson and maybe even a Latu. The combine for us didn't really change a ton of stuff. You no, know? those top three felt pretty locked yeah. in. 